Howdy, cadre. Um, I did, yeah. I should be sleeping now. I think, I think that overwrites. I, I don't, I don't, I had no plan. I don't know what I'm going to talk about. I was about to say it's Friday night, but um, it appears it's now Saturday. Oh boy. Um, no, no, that's not, that's not what I want. Um, that's not what I want either. Can I? I, I don't, oops, yeah, let's, oop, let's get back in there. I guess that's my biggest complaint about this game, is there's no save feature? I guess that's true. So I think if I start a new game, I'm going to lose this one, which no, I don't I don't want that. I already did that once. Um maybe I don't care because I this is like a sandbox easy mode. Um, I don't, I don't even know I'm showing you this. Yeah, endless, um... Forgiving... Wait, oh, that's a continue. Oh, but I didn't play this. Okay. Well, that's fine then. Um, this is like a strategy organization game. Resource management. Um, there's a, yeah, there's a key there. At the start of the game, you pick three out of five races, and I, I think this is still an early, early access. Um, it, it would be nice, perhaps. I don't know. Maybe these are balanced pretty well, but um, the. <sighs> And there's tricky aspects to the game. One is that you have to decide a goal for each world you colonize. And depending on the type of world, you have different options. You can see, like, up here, well, down here, this ice ball, there are no options currently. Um, but there's tech that you can get later that will um, open that up. This... Uh, mineral world Asimov nice noise um, all I can do is use people to make resources um, yeah I got I got nothing yet so that doesn't help um, So the the basic idea is that you're colonizing worlds. I must have already, yeah, I already searched. You send out probes that explore worlds. And 
and one of my races is allowing me to produce Anyways, so, yeah, each world you got to choose inputs and outputs. On the left side of these are things they need, and on the right side are things they produce. So, down in, like, this triangle... If we, this, um, what, what is it, a remnant, this remnant world needs people, and then it can produce either raw materials, uh, computer chips, or plastic. This thing needs raw materials to produce plastic, or computer chips, or um, the boxes are like consumer goods, I believe, or with plastic, it can produce consumer goods. And this earth like planet can either produce population with food, or it can produce food if you give it plastic, or with people, it can produce biomass and water and the desert world doesn't help I, I think I abandoned this world because I didn't see a great way to start um, plastic to make food food but then you need chips so, and, and we would need, okay, so, yeah, 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 yeah. we're going to have issues, no matter what we do, we're going to have issues. There's a certain distance that you can connect worlds with. This has no options, so, so let's just go ahead and take the only thing we have there. And we can't connect uh, these worlds because this world's going to be in the way. But here we are producing um, I think that's, yeah, that's an upkeep cost. And one thing that's nice about this game is there's there's a lot of, um, there's a lot of stuff, to, but it, it's pretty easy to learn as you go. Um, there's no timer per se, it's just every action moves a clock. So, kind of a turn-based thing. We are producing ore, I guess it's called ore, um, here and who is it the our sylphid race so we have like a council of three races our empire is built around or with with three species presumably from different worlds um the Sylphids improve the first option on Forge Worlds. So instead of converting ore into two computer chips, it also gives us plastic on top of the two chips. So we're going to go ahead and take that, and we can connect those two so that the ore that's being produced here is now being shipped through this slipway. Um, these are like 
space elevators, basically. Oh, I always do that. I try to move with my mouse. Is it? Oh, it's the right button does that. New tasks. So, these are like goals that will then give you rewards. Um, I think you can take all three of these if you want to. They're each from one of our species. They have like different different goals, kind of. Uh, get a Forge Ward World Planet to successful. Invent a technology. Colonize new planets of different types. Oh, I can't do all three. Okay. So these will unlock um, options for each race once we accomplish them. So we have a goal of inventing a technology. That should be really easy. Um, and get a Forge World to successful. That should also be easy. So we'll take those two. And those show up here as, you know, we're working on their goals. What is this? Fledgling. Okay. So, all right. We could ship the plastic down here to make food. Let's see if we can do that. Oh, we've got to colonize first. Plastic makes food. We need people too. Yeah, but we need food. Okay, now we're sending our plastic down there. That's producing food. If we get chips and food here, we can make a lot of people. There's the food. There's the computer chips. So now this planet has just gone from, what's it start out as? Um, struggling. Struggling means it's not getting its needs met. This needs population. Um... But now that this has gone up a rank from struggling to established, we have a, a new production level. And that new production level gives us even more people, but it now requires those consumer goods. So the... Um, now I keep doing that. The 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 met needs are kind of well okay on the left the met needs are highlighted and the unmet needs are are shadowed that kind of seems backwards but anyway on the right side the unused goods are in bold and the used goods fade back so and now that we have people here um, but unfortunately we're unable to send them across slipways you can't cross normal slipways um, we could send them to here not sure how that's gonna help us yet though so let's send a probe out or should we? We could make people. We could make people. Let's send a probe out this way. And out this way. Okay, so we could make 
people there to send down here. But we'd need to find food and ore. But this would probably produce more ore. Let's do that. We'll need to find food someplace. Okay, so I think these both advance. This is now producing two ores, but it's already sending that second ore to this new world we just made. And now this is established because we met that first need. Now, now it needs water. And we could produce water here. Let's go ahead and do that. And we'll send the water this way. This needs plastic. And if we go ahead and make this another multi-purpose factory, it's far superior to the bots factory. Um, is that plastic? No, those are bots. I've always thought of that as plastic. All right, they look like plastic bags to me, but I guess they're I guess they're bots anyway. Um, because we have the improved multi-purpose factories, there's really no point in making a bots factory. We can send. We now have a third ore here. We can send that that way, and then we can send the plastic this way. And now this is a successful world. Okay, and to get to this fourth level, has to trade with three other planets that are successful. So that's one thing I find real interesting about this game is that... Um, It's about expansion, it's about resource management, but each step is fairly simple. There's just ins and outs for each world. Um, sometimes they can trade. Other times you'll end up with these... Um, you know, kind of one-way triangles of goods being traded. And... You're generally trying to improve all the worlds so that they function better and can trade more goods. Um, I guess I want... I can't get all those. Oh, well. Okay, we can make... Food there. Well, shoot. We have extra chips over here. What am I doing? Okay. All right. Something to do with people. Good. People can make ores. With the ore... With the... With the people... This needs water... This, all right. This, this is this is not going to be great for YouTube. I can, I can, you know, we can, we can all tell each other that right now. Um, because it's mainly a lot of thinking. I guess I need to think out loud. Obviously, where am I going to get food? Bots can make food on this ocean world.
I guess maybe I'm looking for a place so I can make bots. Not finding it. Okay, with water and food, with bots, with... See, it, it, one of the big challenges of this game is some of the best worlds have very different options. So this one can take in people or put out, you know, spit out people. It can take in food or it can spit out food. But the... The, the options are varied, and once you settle the world, um, I, I'm pretty sure it's established. Like, you've industrialized the world, and you can no longer undo it or change it. Which maybe is something that I'd like to see improved. And who knows, maybe it is in the technology tree, or a specialty of one of the races that I haven't tried yet. Um, this needs water. So maybe I should just go ahead. Oh, this needs food. But I don't have bots around here. So let's make water with people. And then if we connect these, we're getting people to there. And if we connect these, we're getting water to there. This needs food, but we don't have a good place to make it. This needs ore. Are these close enough? Well, I can't see. Yes, I think they're close enough. So... I can make ore there? Because this needs ore. And with food, I can make people here. And we have extra food there. And now we can send people there. Now they need water. I don't think... Yeah, that's obstructed. Okay, this needs water and food to make people. Let's go ahead and do it. That's the only option there anyways. And this probably won't reach out of range. But down here, well, maybe we should probe more. Okay, all right, all right. With biomass, we can make food. We need food. With people, we can make ore. Okay, we have people here. Um, with bio mass, we can make food to send to there. This can make biomass to 
send there. This has extra water that we can send there. This needs water. We can get water there with bots. Water to send to there. Um, we have ore there. Need people there. Could make people here, but would need food. We don't have food nearby. This is interrupted um nice be nice to s make consumer goods to send in here there's also other things around the map like this this is like a ruined space station kind of and if you have extra people, yeah, that's obstructed. Yeah, the slipways can't go through the orbit or the atmosphere or the magnetic field of another planet or whatever. Um, but one use for extra populations is to, like, explore things. Okay, and there's two options that I can't use yet because I need to improve one of my races. And I could sell this place for funds, but I don't really need it. So I'm going to leave that for now. Oh, I think, I think that's an upgrade from the last update. Is it now... It's now notifying you that that hasn't been used yet, so. And I don't think it took the population. Oh, probably, yeah, probably exploring it uses the population. And since I didn't do that yet, it's just waiting there. Um, okay, so. We have green here we're not using. That's fine. We have ore. We're producing. There's people here. So I could people... I could send... This needs plastic. Or, sorry, those are bots. So I could make more chips and bots here, I guess. With that ore, then I can send the bots this way. And this is sending out its water, but it has biomass that's not used. We don't have a place that needs biomass. So be it. Um... The, the, ah, uh, boy. I guess we don't have extra food nearby. There are some controls, like, yeah, if we switch this, it'll hide. The, 
the needs that are met and the products that are being used. So that really simplifies the display kind of. Um, now anything on the left is needs of the world that haven't been met and anything on the right is surplus goods that aren't being used now that wants water but I can't do water There is also an un undo option, but it only it sending out probes messes that up. Um, but if you if you settle a world and then change your mind quickly, you can undo that. I, I can't get chips to here, can I? People, okay, I could probably send people to here to get more water for this world. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, they took the water? Okay. Alright, just to check in on our stats now, which I'm not very good at doing. I was in like a sandbox mode before. Um, we have a lot of unemployment, things that aren't being exported, resource shortages, and shortages getting worse. So all of that is lowering happiness. I think if that gets to zero your game ends in this mode so I'm perhaps not doing great turning goods we do we need people up here And we can't, we've got no place to get people. There we can. And it uses biomass and food. I don't know where we get food, but we really need people, so. Oh, we can't even get to there, can we? Nope. Drat. Alright, we do have the possibility of getting some technology that might help us. We only have four science right now, so we can only get quantum sensors, which improves our probes, or freeze-resistant bots, which lets us do things on ice ball planets. Where do we have ice ball planets? Um... Desert, ice ball, desert, arctic, desert, okay, so we, we really have only found this one. We could either use bots to make water. Alright, that really doesn't help us. 
Maximum range of probes. I don't know if that helps us much either. Um, we also can build laboratories. They produce more research for us, but they require a resource to study and researchers. But that is a great use for extra people we have around. Um, these people have nowhere to go. And we've got a double double ore production there. So now we're producing one research per year. And the way laboratories work is you need one of five resources to study or water, biomass, chips, or bots. But you can only have one laboratory researching each of those types. So there's kind of a limit of five labs. We just used, or we just started studying ore so we can still do water biomass chips you know the the blue green black and white i guess you could say so we have two blue pumping out here and people there so that would be another good place for a lab send people there to study water So, green, black, and white are still options. We have extra green around. Here, too. Um, but this, this stuff's complicated out there. Um... Green, black, and white. I guess, yeah, the chips here. So we're down to green and white as possibilities. Um, oh, we can't do this now, can we? Oh, it's hard to tell. Um, I guess we need to find more places to produce population. This seems like a pretty good place to do that. We have food handy here. We don't have chips. We can easily get there. Um... This needs green, so... Oh. Darn it. Well, that takes care of the green. Oh, these people can go there. Green and food. Bots make food.
Huh. Well, that doesn't quite reach. The third option opened up. Arid and desert planets. Bots can make food. Where do we need food? That's a desert planet. Um, and I guess we can produce bots nearby. All right, let's see if this helps. Sending food, okay. Um, people could make bots. Let's do that, because we have people here that can head to there, and the bots can head to there. These both need water. Let's send water both ways. Now we need people there. This has food. That's excellent. This can make people. We can send food there. We can send ships there. We can send people there. Noise. There's people. All right. Th um, these asteroids can be mined for wealth wealth um and the more the more colonized planets you have around them the more you get from it it takes one month but that's why i've been ignoring it because it, it takes time and it's it's better to kind of surround them first I don't have bots near there. Um, or near there. Okay. To revisit research. We were still looking for... Now, this is where it's nice to use the standard view because... Yeah, yeah, then it shows what's going on. We're researching chips. So I, oh, where's the rest? Water. Or. Aren't we doing green? The biomass? I guess not. Oh, can't can't fit that in there. Um, yeah, we got green and, and 
people. So I think the only thing we haven't done now is bots, researching bots. We do have some here. Got a, a couple Forge Worlds here. Guess it makes sense to start using that. Let's get let's get some goods. Oh wow. Alright, we can make more ore here, send people there, send the ore here to make chips and bots, send chips this way. that entails, do I? Two import routes. But they don't need more import. In can we just can we just establish one? One of two. I mean, does that do anything? No. One of two, so that's this one. But if it doesn't need anything... Oh. Is there something with trade? Um, and we're not researching. Oh, we've got a lot of options. Okay. Convert biomass to bots on primordial swamp and jungle planets. Um, I don't think I have many needs for bots. Turn food into people on asteroids. Oh, increase range of slipways. I want that, don't I? Um, I think there was something that didn't reach. Can I find it? Nope, I can't. Um, people make... People make people... Goods make... T -t -t 
But the, then the goods. Okay, so that. That could go. No, that's not colonized. Right. Chips. Goods. Chips. I think it makes sense to just do that because we can send that and then it, 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 but it really doesn't help us, does it? Does this reach? Nope. I, yeah, I don't know what I'm accomplishing now. Just kind of looking at stuff. Okay, f food. Bots. People. People bots. Goods. That is goods. That is people. Um, baseball. Plus makes food. Plus makes goods. It's not plastic. It's bots. Maybe they're plastic bots. That resolves all of my internal conflicts right there. making water but I don't think I can connect oh maybe I can okay if bots make water we can send it there we can make bots there to send there and we have people here that we can send there now they're making more bots more bots more bots Okay, we can make food. That seems good. Bots make food there. We can send that food up to here to make people. We have chips here we can send to help with that. Now that we have lots of people. Um... I might have been able to do better than that, but I didn't try very hard. Food. All right. What's what's over yonder? Okay. We could produce green with people. That sounds good because we have people out here. Now that we can send slipways farther, we'll reach it. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. Outputs. Um, Let's make some goods. We can send bots there to do that. The goods we can send to there. Um, not 
they need people. Chips and food make people. To send to there. Bots make food there. To send to there. We have bots there. All right, to revisit here, we could have a tat, put habitats on asteroids. We could start making bots in lush planets. Okay, enlightenment is nice. Um, enlightenment allows us to fulfill, remove the need for goods on planets um, with with the project. We're going to go ahead and... What? Oh, it did that. Right. So now... Like, this planet has a need for goods, but for just 20 funds... What do they call these? Wealth... Um, I can take away that need and then it jumps to prosperous um, yeah so anywhere that needs goods and this is helping the health of our entire system Where that's relevant. Well, this has goods. Okay. And that got this Forge World to prosperous because it now it now has um, two goods coming in. And I think we still needed to research bots, and I think we can do that here. Okay, good. Oh, and now, nope, we need to do the Dender. New tasks available. Okay, this is where, okay. Increase population by four. I want to do that because I want to open the Dender options. Um, two more remnant planets to successful or forge. Can is there a? Yeah, this is what I wanted to see. Um, so we have one remnant planet. But it's already successful. So I'll try and do the Forge World. And that would let us get one of those things. Okay, so... Food, people, we should look out into space a little bit more. I don't know where. 
trying to do with this ice ball. Um, bots to water, or bots and biomass to food. None of that helps us here. Food, people, people, food, things and stuff. Bots. Bots make stuff. Yep, okay. Um, and this is a thing here. Warehouse. Uh... Okay, I guess it's just funds. Well, now this is this is blocked here. That's too bad. Um, but I can make water here to send to there. But bots I can make bots here to send to there but now I can't do this food makes people on asteroids Is there anywhere that might help us? Food makes people. Yeah, sure not helping. Oh, these guys could go look there. Okay, so... We'll go ahead and learn from its construction. That gives us a bunch of research. Maybe that will help us. Quantum computing. Okay, well that seems good. Double the research from our laboratories. One, two, Three, four, this one, five, okay, good, that's even more research, um, People make bots. Bots make water. Bot, pe people, bots, bots, the, the, pe the people make the bot, th they're, they're people, people make bots, bots make food, brick, a brick, a sheep, a rock, a 
wood. Um, people can make the, the the green could make food. The food with the blue or the people. People could make blue. The the, the oh man. Okay, bot, bots make food and people. There's no chips around. People, people make green. The green could make. Then it would need. The, and then there's, there'd be more people. People send out there. People could make green. Can we reach that? Out of range. Um. Okay, all right, all right. Did this... Yeah, no, we don't have them yet. Um... Chips, people, people... Uh, there's people there, but they can't get anywhere. Wait, can't I? Okay, with the asteroid, yeah. Build habitats on asteroids. Let's get that. Because if we do that here, we can send food there and then people there. Um... That didn't change much, but we did it. We did it. Um, the food, people. Well, that's that's kind of the game. I'm, I'm doing so I, I played a couple games in this mode the, like standard run and and died fairly quickly because I, I had no clue what I what, what I was doing um, th then I switched to kind of the sandbox mode I, I forget what it's called explore or I don't know but it, it doesn't doesn't keep track of time the same way it's more forgiving but this I feel pretty good about because we're doing fairly well at um, at balancing our, our positives and negatives such that we're at 83 percent happiness um, I think that may decrease over time. No. And we, yeah, our exports earn us funds. So that's going pretty well. Uh... Uh, let's let's make people here. We can at least send food right away. Oh oh good. Our our dunder options are open. Um oh, we could improve our scans. I didn't realize I had scrolled, I guess. And we could get stuff on ice balls, but, um... Well, 
but um indeed green if we want to make green better do that here these can trade successfully um, green could produce food or people could produce now well, let's see what's out here people people producing things. Can we get there? It looks like it. Then uh, people could... Need water. This is too far. Um... That's an asteroid, but with food, we could make people. We don't need people. Um, we have people there. Does whoops? Does this reach? No, something in the way. Okay, yeah, we opened this up. Um, turns into people make happiness, a museum. I guess we have people there, right? 78, 2%. Okay. Fair enough. Back to 80%. So, anyways, it's it's a it's a thinking game. It's fairly calm and con contemplative. Um, oh, we've got more research possible. Industrialization uses up all the raw resources of this planet to turn it into a forge world. Increases bonus from quantum computers. Way to make people without having to rely on habitable planets. Huh. I don't get it, but I'm going to get it. Well, I'm, yeah, that's enough for now. Um, that's another thing. I, I keep letting my editor talk me into t stuff that I don't think is that important, but, um, I mean, it, none of it is really a, accomplishing an increase in, in views or... I don't think. There's nothing I can sense. I've been, I've been at 808 subscribers for... I mean, on and off for a couple years, I think. Yeah, maybe a couple years ago I was just under 800. I think what's had a bigger impact is the stuff I've made for the alley, um, and that's that's cl cross-platform stuff. They're coming in from posts on Facebook, which I really should get off and spend more time on mines, but there's a couple things about mines that annoy me. One is that it kicks me out of my account about once a month, and then I have to 
track down my note where my password is. And I'm, you know, I don't, I don't do social media on my phone very much at all. So I don't feel like it's a security risk for my computer, my desktop computer to be logged in because that's secured in my home behind locked doors and such. So slipways, um, that would be another thing they could do that would be an improvement is actually show what the goods are that are being transported. I suppose, I mean, they're, they're obviously, you know, it's a coding thing that, but see that, that seems strange to me because if they, if they already have the symbols, if they were just sending little tiny symbols back and forth, the need for these, I mean, it would basically, resolve this conflict I have between these two view types. Um, there's also show income upkeep. Oh, that that's a toggle. Okay. I don't care about that. What standard? Okay. So there you have it, Slipways. Um, I, I doubt I'll come back here. I mean, we could continue this world. Hey, a two two likes. Right, whatever. I don't know. Um, like and subscribe. Join the Discord. Join the Patreon. Join the OnlyFans. Look for the Instagram and the um, the MySpace, uh, the, the Shutter Chat, and the um, film film share. Check out the film share. The Twitter, I'm pretty sure that's one, the tweeter, um, insert the catchphrase here.